Temperature is the foundation on which all human life is based. Our bodies are essentially bioelectrical chemical machines, and for them to function properly, enzymatic reactions must occur, and proteins must be formed. Those reactions are all based on temperature. In short, temperature is what determines the state of health of the human body. Why then has the science of monitoring the body's temperature remained essentially stagnant for more than 300 years? Even when we know traditional methods of measuring temperature aren't as accurate as they could be. That is the very question an ophthalmologist at Yale University decided to tackle. Dr. Mark Abreu realized that traditional methods of thermometry were inaccurate because they simply don't measure the right places. All of the other measures, they are um, in areas that were not designed for temperature measurement. So they're not structured for it. The mouse esophagus were designed for ingestion, the urethra and, and anal area for excretion, so the ear for hearing. So all of those will prevent the um, actual accurate measurement. The right place, Dr. Abreu realized, is the brain. So in order to preserve life and well-being, you need to measure the temperature of the brain. Even a 10% change, it will lead to your demise. You can use either 98 or 37. If you're at 98, 10%, we put you almost at 108. Not compatible with life. 88, not compatible with life. Which means that we are all vulnerable, no matter if I am the best fit athlete in the world. Temperature can take my life from me. You can die from it. And there's only one way that you can prevent the, the demise from a rise in temperature, which is by monitoring it. Figuring out a way to continuously monitor the brain's temperature was Dr. Abreu's real journey. A challenge to be sure, since initially, Dr. Abreu didn't know exactly what he was searching for. I knew the brain was the answer because the thermoregulatory center, you know, what controls temperatures in, in, in the brain. So I went inside the brain and I looked for this thermodynamic configuration. Was there a thermodynamic configuration inside the brain? Because then I would know the exit, if there would be one. And that became clear to me that there was a path there. Because I saw, I discovered the first tissue in the human body, which does not have fat. Which means it was a thermally transmissive. It will transmit energy from inside the brain to the outside. And I remove a piece of skin from this area. I knew there was a tunnel and I said, if the, my problem is that the body is covered by fat. So if this has no insulation characteristics, I got the answer. The answer is the brain temperature tunnel or BTT a thermal path from the inside corner of the eye socket directly to the brain. By developing a device that continuously measures the brain's temperature through this tunnel, Dr. Abreu hopes to drastically reduce or eliminate the threat of infection or complications during surgery. The BTT allows that continuity, allows something non-invasive. There's no risk of any sort because it's a simple, you know, adhesive that you put here from the beginning of surgery to the end. It can be done continuously throughout the whole procedure. And you have your little thing there. Now we know how you are. We're gonna protect you during surgery. So now the BTT allows the most valuable information throughout surgery, non-invasively. And you are gonna be able to prevent all of those complications as a result. The athletic applications of continuously monitoring the temperature of the brain are staggering. In August of 2001, 27-year-old professional football player Corey Stringer died on a Minnesota Vikings practice field from complications brought on by heat stroke. His death led to an increased awareness of the danger high temperatures can pose. It was also a catalyst to a number of major safety changes throughout the NFL. However, according to the National Center for Catastrophic Sports Injuries at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, the number of heat-related deaths among athletes 
has still more than doubled since 1975. Dr. Abreu feels that these tragedies can be avoided by using the BTT system. A lot of athletes have heat injury, have heat stroke, and died from it. You know, from high school kids, you know, playing football to marathon runners. So they are fit, but they cannot protect themselves. The only way would be by a warning system. Dr. Abreu's team has integrated a BTT monitoring system into sunglasses. It warns athletes before they are adversely affected by the heat. And it's, it's very simple because, you know, in this case, you have a sensor here that has, an, um, you know, an arm, it's an adjustable arm, so you can fit any anatomy, any body configuration. And this is a wireless transmitter right here that's sending the signal to a watch or could send it to any other device. A cell phone, we have all of different types of uh, uh, receiving devices. It's always important to uh, remember that you cannot manage what you cannot measure. And this gives the ability to manage. You can manage the athletes to increase you know, their performance and their safety because you're able to measure and to measure continuously. The same principles that apply to athletes also apply to the military, where according to DOD studies, 7 to 8 percent of all non-combat deaths occur during training as a direct result of heat complications. According to Dr. Abreu, monitoring an athlete or soldier's temperature can not only save their life, but it can actually optimize their performance. By using BTT, an athlete or a soldier, first to be able to achieve performance that was never possible before because they will be working at their optimal thermal zone and optimal hydration status. That will allow those to achieve a level of performance that was not possible before.